What's going on everybody? This is Matt Does Fitness and my sister bet me £100 I couldn't make a car out of spaghetti. Should have seen her face when I drove past her. Come on, that was that was pretty strong. Um, okay, this is my squat highlights from week five of my second cycle. That's right, I'm into week five. It's getting pretty exciting now. Um, first session was probably the best squats I've ever done. Um, I went for five sets of three, five triples at 180 kilos, 397 pounds, so pretty much 400 pounds. Four plates on either side, and I got all five, and I'm absolutely over the moon with that. Um, it was not that long ago, we're talking a matter of months ago, that this was my PR for a single, and I was really, really pleased to get that. It was a massive land, uh, landmark for me, so to get it for five triples is pretty crazy. Um, I mean, this cycle I've made some really good progress, but my squats in particular, I'm really, really happy with the way they've gone up, and I'm pretty sure now. I don't want to jinx it. I'm touching wood as we speak. Um, that sounds weird, but um, I reckon I'm on for a pretty decent PR when it comes to testing. Um, here's my second set. I mean, the third rep of every set was a little bit of a grind, but to be honest, every time I unracked the bar, I always felt like I was going to get my, my, like all three reps. I never felt like I wasn't going to get one. I never felt close to kind of dropping the bar. Even these days when I'm having to grind the reps, I always feel like I'm going to get it up, um, which is obviously a nice feeling to have, particularly going into a period of testing. Um, on that front, my plan is uh, obviously finish week five. Week six, I'm going to take it a little bit easier. So instead of uh, squatting twice, I will squat once. Obviously deadlift once, and then instead of squat, uh, bench pressing three times, I'll bench press twice. So I'll reduce my week from six sessions to four sessions with obviously the aim being that I will go into my testing week a lot fresher. Um, one thing I learned from having that three weeks off a while back from my holiday is that my CNS obviously takes an absolute hammering when I train. I do train with a lot of, obviously a lot of frequency, not a massive amount of volume, but uh, a lot of intensity. So obviously my CNS needs a rest. So like I said, week six will be, it will still be a training week, but I'll use it as a little bit of a deload and then the week seven, so the week after my cycle, I will test all of my lifts. I will do a one rep max for all three of my lifts. And like I said, without wanting to jinx it, I reckon I've got some decent numbers uh, waiting to come out. Hopefully, um, if you don't see any videos, it means that I haven't hit PRs. And I have probably faked my death. Uh, and you'll probably find me in Mexico or Costa Rica, uh, potentially Peru. I haven't really looked into it yet, but I'll... I'll start making inquiries after this video. Um, here's my fifth and final set, and like I said, got all five of them, and I'm well pleased. I mean, I would have been happy to get just one triple. I mean, I've never done, I've never done that weight for more than one rep. So just getting one triple would have been nice. Three sets of three would have been good. Five sets of three is pretty crazy. Um, yeah, like I said, that's just massive, massive progress for me. I then did some beltless front squats, three sets of three. 120 kilos, which is, what is that, about 265 pounds, I think, um, if my conversions are accurate, uh, which they always are, let's be honest. Um, I always do my accessory squat work and deadlift work beltless just to get a little bit of extra kind of core uh, engagement, just to try to force it to get a little bit stronger. Um, and that was that. So I then did some wide grip chin-ups, obviously do this all the time, just trying to strengthen my upper back, my lats. Um, I think I did something like 15 or 16, down to about 12, down to about 10, which tends to be the norm for me at the moment. Um, I'm doing I'm doing a lot of, I mean, I've noticed recently, I mean, quite a while to be fair, I'm doing all of my back work with a pretty wide-ish grip. Um, I've said it loads of times, but I did, identif did identify weakness there quite a while back, so I've just been trying to address that, and it's definitely got a lot better, and I'm fairly sure that's carried over to my deadlifts, which is one of the reasons why, um, along with my form getting better and stuff, that my deadlifts have gone up, I think. Um, okay, then I finished the session with some lap pulldowns. I did a couple of other bits, but I didn't film them because I'm trying to keep you on your toes. Um, I did three sets of, I don't know, something like 13 down to about 10 or so of these. Again, felt some pretty decent lat engagement. And that was that session. Um, after that, didn't really care what happened because it was such a good session, but... I then went on two sets of five, 170 kilos, which is 375 pounds. But more importantly, what you all came here to see, look at those bad boys. Yes, that's right. I'm wearing Lycra. I'm wearing tights. Um, these aren't even new. 
Uh, this is a legacy of my track and field slash athletic days. I used to have, or I still have, a lot of Lycra, probably more Lycra than a man should own, um, but I haven't worn it for probably getting on for two years now. And I thought, you know what, my weights are going up. Um, I want to view powerlifting for me now as kind of like a sport, you know, something I'm doing seriously. So I thought, going to get the Lycra out. And I'm not going to lie, I loved it. Um, I felt a little bit awkward walking in and back from the gym. So I probably have to wear some trousers over these from now on. But yeah, I really liked it. I felt good. And I'm not going to lie, I can definitely pull off a pair of tights. Um, not literally speaking. Although I can pull them off. Obviously, I did that after I wore them. Um... I'm not sure where this um, story is going. Um, so, sets of five. The plan would have been five sets of five, but I kind of twinged my back a little bit when I was deadlift. I had a nice deadlift session, uh, which Coda said, I didn't film, so you're not going to see it. Unlucky. Um, I did my triples again. I went a little bit heavier than last time, but my back was just a little bit sore after that. So in this session here, whereas ordinarily when I kind of let myself drop forwards a little bit in my squat, so I can just kind of catch myself with my back, it wasn't, the case here on my back was just kind of I felt to be fair I felt really strong I mean my legs felt really strong I felt like I could have done a lot more than what I was doing here and for sets of five at this weight which is the most I've ever done I felt really really good um, I probably could have lifted more but like I said my back just didn't feel completely 100% I didn't want to risk it getting close to the end of the cycle so I thought I'd just play it safe and obviously with that massive squat session in the bag from earlier in the week I was happy just to settle for the three sets of five Feeling nice and strong, like I said, um, and and then like move on to the next one. Um, I finished the squat work with some paused beltless squats, as is the norm. Oh, some nice legs there on the left of the screen. Thank you. Um, I did 140 kilos, which is uh, 309 pounds, I believe. I've pretty much committed all of the conversions to memory now because I've done it so many friggin' times. Um, yeah, I did sets of three here. I felt really strong, to be fair. I could have done more. I've actually noticed that my pause and my front squat work is a little bit on the light side, but I did uh, start doing that deliberately because I didn't want to kind of overload my CNS, obviously with the heavy work I'm doing initially. But yeah, this felt pretty good. And that was another solid squat session to end a good week of squats. Um, I did some more lap pull downs. Uh, again, three sets of, I don't know, somewhere in the 12 rep range. Again, feeling a pretty massive amount of lat engagement. Just focusing on, as I always do, pulling from the elbows. I can't stress this enough. I spent years and years uh, thinking, well not years, but a few years, thinking I was training my back, uh, doing all kinds of back work, and pretty much feeling it entirely in my biceps. And I think a lot of people do the same thing. I see a lot of people trying to hit their back and not really properly engaging it. It is all about pulling from your elbows. If you pretend that your arms finish at your elbows, and the kind of the handles, the levers, the whatever, it, the bar is attached to your elbows and you pull from that position, you engage your back a huge amount more. Um, and I finished the session with an incredibly controversial camera angle. Not sure what I was thinking there. Pretty lazy and bizarre on my part. Uh, some reverse dumbbell flies, three sets of 12-ish of these, I think. And that was my session and that was my week. So, like I said, a massive week for me, a really big, really big landmark in that first session and it bodes well for going into my testing. So, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, as always, and I will see you next time.